Hi guys, welcome back to Pipe Pro vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the call. Today we'll be seeing how to create a satellite orbit visualization with the help of Poly Astro. But before that, we'll be checking the packages pre-installed in my system. So the first command that I'm going to execute in command prompt is PIP list, where you can see all the packages with the versions. So it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So quickly, let's start with the code. So uh, the imported libraries, let me give a gist of the imported libraries. So you can see we have NumPy. And we have also Astropy, and from Astropy, we have units as you. So, NumPy is used for numerical operation, and Astropy.units for handling physical units. And also, we have from polyaster.bodies import earth. This line imports the earth object from the polyastro bodies, which represents the earth. And also, from polyaster.2body, import orbit this line imports the orbit class from the polyastro dot two body which represents the orbit of the celestial body and we have from the polyastro dot plotting import orbit plotter 3d that this line imports the orbit plotter 3d class from the polyastro plotting which provides the functionality for the plotting of the 3d objects then moving on we have to define some satellite orbits that is ORB1. So let's take a look at ORB1 so you can see orbit from classical Earth A is equal to 7000 EJ into UM, which is semi major axis that is defined. And we have ECC is equal to 0 0.2 into U dot 1, which is E centricity. And then we have INC is equal to NP dot radius 30 into U DEG, which is the inclination of the Earth. And we have RAAN is equal to NP dot radius 60 into U degree, which is right ascension of the ascending node. And then we have ARGP is equal to NP dot radius 80 into U dot DEG, argument of the pericenter and then we have NU is equal to NP dot radiance 100 into U degree which is truly anomaly. This code block defines the first satellite orbit that is ORB using the classical orbit elements. The from classical method creates an orbit from the classical orbit element where A is the semi-major axis ECC is Eccentrical and INC is inclination, RAAN is the right ascension of the ascending node, and ARGP is the argument of the pericenter, and NU is a truly anomaly. Moving on to the next, we have orbit 2. Now, what happens in orbit 2? Similarly, as the first block, so you can see the AECC inclination, RAN and ARGP and U, the inclination, the argument of the pericentimeter. Also, given in orbit 2, similar to the first block, this code block defines the second satellite orbit, which is ORB2, with different orbital elements. Coming down to the last part, we have to plot the orbits and save in a file. 
So the first one is plotter is equal to orbit plotter 3D. This line creates an instance of orbit plotter 3D and we have plotter dot 2. We have ORB2 dot label orbit 2. This line plots two orbits which is ORB1 and 2 which uh, we have already given all the values. On the same plot, each orbit is given a label for identification. And we have plotter dot figure write HTML satellite orbits dot HTML auto open is equal to true. This line saves the plot into a HTML file named satellite orbits dot HTML and opens it in the web browser. And auto open true. This writes the HTML method to private method to the orbit plotter three D class indicated by the underscore prefix and we have the print option print plot save to the satellite to the html this line prints a message confirming that the plot has been saved to the html so as usual i want to go where the file is and copy the name of the file and open command prompt Python space the file name dot py. Okay, there is a small. Okay, I've not typed in Python space orbit dot py dot. So uh, you got an update of plot already done and you can see there is the entire plotting and we have orbit 1 and orbit 2 plotted on one graph. So the orange one is orbit 2 and the blue one is orbit 1 with all the x and y axis, the intricate ones. We have z axis, y axis and x axis. We have both the orbits in one plane. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.